coming up next on ATE TV. Earning college credit while in high school. It's very important high schools know what colleges are looking for so that that education is truly seamless and it takes you through. Simulation and game development. You get immersed into the actual modeling and hands-on uh, gaming experience. And precision agriculture. Anybody who uses or is involved in agriculture and uses technology, uh, there should be an opening somewhere for that position. Now on ATE TV. From across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. Did you know that high school students can earn college credit and have access to hands-on technical opportunities through dual enrollment or early college programs? Let's take a look at one program being offered at Stark State College. We're working a lot more with superintendents and curriculum directors so that what they're teaching is in alignment with where they need to go for college. It's very important high schools know what colleges are looking for so that that education is truly seamless and it takes you through. Well, this is what you'll be doing uh, next year, a lot you'll be setting these up. You should come check it out. We get out early, sixth, seventh grade. We like to see if some kids might want to get into math and science related areas and let them tour some of our laboratories, let them see some hands-on stuff to try to stimulate and get them excited. Now, well, you, now your motor is yet. higher. We talk about engineering, we talk about fuel cell. It's a, it's a good opportunity to get them to explore some of these fields and we've had some success with that. Still do that without bending this other piece here. I just graduated from Stark State College of Technology with my electromechanical engineering degree. I did got that through the early college program at Timken High School. It's a program to take you through your associate's degree while you're still taking high school classes. Kids from grades 9 through 12, they're having an opportunity to earn an associate degree while they're in high school. We've implemented some fuel cell courses for them to get started. These kids will actually be able to put on their resume that they have fuel cell experience before they've even started in their associate degree. So we're real excited about that. Well, one of the big things about the early college program is that it wasn't designed for the educational elite, per se. It's designed so that the inner city kid can go to college. The collaborations with middle school, high school, and uh, colleges is, is extremely important. It's building blocks, stepping through, not starting over again when you take your next step. Community colleges have programs aimed to reach high school students and provide them with access, support, and affordable options to higher education. For more information on early college or dual enrollment programs, be sure to visit your local community college. Community college programs are not only geared towards those in high school, but also to people who are established in the workforce looking to change careers. If you've been thinking about switching jobs and want to acquire a new set of technical skills, your local community college is a great place to start. This character came pre-rigged. Yep, came pre-rigged. All we had to do is move it, key it, and my name's Steve Hardister and I attend Wake Technical College in their simulation and game development curriculum. And I went to school for graphic design and from there I went into the printing industry. I was working in the printing industry and I'd reached a salary cap so I decided to transition into uh, 3D graphics. The advantage of taking uh, courses here at Wake Tech or that you get immersed into the actual modeling and hands-on uh, gaming experience versus uh, having to learn a lot of theory. You do learn some theory, but you also you get involved uh, more quickly. And they will actually use this to teach people how to use this piece of equipment. 
and inside we have a lot of detail. And this was a collective effort between a, a team of artists. And then down here on the left side... The course that I found most interesting was animation. That certainly brings to life what you're learning in modeling and you get to see your creations in motion, which is something you do not get to do as a 2D graphic artist. When I graduate from Wake Tech, I would like to work either doing simulations for educational purposes or go into a commercial or even an entertainment industry doing a 3D modeling and animation. The skills learned in that program, such as 3D modeling and animation, can be applied to several fields including education and entertainment. And simulation development can be used from the automobile industry to NASA. Sound like something you want to learn more about? Check out your local community college. Precision agriculture is the use of technology to help farmers be more efficient and achieve maximum crop yields with the least amount of waste. Many community colleges, like Kirkwood, offer programs in precision agriculture that prepare students to meet the high demands of the competitive, highly technical agriculture industry. For many years, precision agriculture kind of plateaued and farmers didn't really see the economic value of this technology. Um, with this, this newest technology, the guidance systems, there's a lot of farmers excited um, and it seems like we cannot uh, graduate enough students to meet the demand. I work for John Deere, uh, Green Valley Ag and Turf in Mount Vernon. I talk to customers, I can, I'm like a consultant. I talk to them about what they could do to maximize their inputs. I talk to them and uh, sell them equipment for their machinery, and then I support it. We have a lot of industry support. We've got a lot of uh, industry coming to us saying, how can we help? How can we get more students into the program? How, what kind of equipment and uh, other support do you need? I just press the button, see the steering wheel take over, accelerate. driving across the field. As technology progresses, there's going to be a larger need for guys with those skills. You could uh, find a job where, such as mine working for a farming operation. You could uh, find a job working for a cooperative, uh, chemical companies, seed dealers. Anybody who uses or is involved in agriculture and uses technology, uh, there should be an opening somewhere for that position. My advice for students here that plan on coming or are thinking about it is just to do it. The sky's the limit with this precision farming. Your dealerships are hiring and we need the people. What I do after this program is I'm going to go back to Green Valley. I'm going to stay working for them. Um, they've offered me a full-time position there. So I plan on just staying with those guys. I've met a lot of good guys there, customers. They like working with me and I like working with them. So. The job opportunities associated with precision agriculture go well beyond traditional farming. Chemical companies, seed companies, and cooperatives are all in need of highly skilled technicians who can help them stay competitive. If you want to learn more about precision agriculture programs near you, or want more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.